Hey there! Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener, welcome to the OCG Fam Show. What's uh, what's going on in your grow? Let me know in the comments, we'll talk about that after the show. And speaking of the comments, in the comments for our last video, the viewer questions video we did, we had a question from uh, Curly Magoo. He says, love what y'all do, great show. What's the PPM conversion for Nectar for the Gods? Is it the 500 scale or 700? Thank you for your time. 700, that's how we roll. It's a Nectar fam thing. Everybody just uses 700, but uh, that's the short answer. The long answer, the long answer is that it doesn't really matter. It's not so much what you do, but that you do it consistently. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is a Blue Lab truncheon, and it's what I use to measure PPM when I'm doing slurry tests. There's other things you can use, and they're all about the same, but this is the one I use. Let me let me show you what I got going here. If you look at this, you'll see uh, it's got the little lights here that turn on and off to tell you what the reading is, but it's also got this here. It says PPM 500 TDS, PPM 700, ECX 700. These are two different scales, and as you can see, it doesn't really matter which one you use. The lights still go the same. So it doesn't so much matter which one you use, but only that we're all on the same page. So when we're talking about this, when you're in the forums, or if you send a message to Scott over at Oregon's Only about uh, some tech support questions, then we're all talking about the same thing, using the same language. So that's why we all use 700. It's just arbitrarily picked. But let me mention something about consistency. I talked about that. Because Scott mentioned it when we were doing the uh, viewer questions just the other day. He said that um, when you're measuring the PPM, when you're doing your slurry test of your soil, that it's not so much important what the number is. There's no right number. I mean, there's a range of a right number. You don't want to be way out here or way out there. But really what you're looking for is to find where your plants are happy uh, and they're eating up all the stuff and you can see a number that's consistently that number. And so you can tell that something's going wrong if that number's spiking up or spiking down, what the trend is. And you're not going to be able to notice that trend unless you're consistently doing your slurry test the same every time. So we recommend that you do a one-to-one -one ratio. One part soil with an equal part water. We recommend mixing it till everything is thoroughly combined into a slurry. And then measure it right away. You don't have to wait. 200, that's a little low. But if you feel like you want to use a different ratio, you want to mix it a little longer or shorter, or uh, maybe you want to wait a little before you measure it. You go ahead. That's your prerogative. But do it the same every time. That's the important part, to have consistency. It's really as simple as that. So uh, thanks for the question, Mr. Magoo. And uh, thank the rest of you for watching the show. I love you. If you got more questions, throw them in the comments and we'll answer those. That's the show for today. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good, it happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. There's a good pepper stick. See you tomorrow.